Okay, so um, we'll just do a little bit of housekeeping in this one. So first up, um, remember that we are spawning stars, right? Um, this time around, because our stars are being spawned, um, because um, the way the way our star is is that it's in this group. So when spawning it, we also need to make sure that that this star has the same things, the same components, and the same uh, node settings. All right. So um, we'll just add this when spawning a star. So in spawning a new star, we'll be saying new star dot add component. What component do you think we're going to add? Right. So here we were coming component collider component. Then we add a circle collider. So we need to add a circle collider. So cc dot circle collider. So when spawning, it's going to be adding a circle collider. And then um, we can also make sure that the star is in a in a good group. So new star dot group should be equal to um, new star dot group is going to be equal to um, you guys guess what group is it going to be in it's going to be in star right because that's what this star is in this star is in group star right um, let's see anything else that we we'll need okay the, the radius has to be 20 okay so we'll say new star dot get component we'll get the circle collider cc dot circle collider and then we'll call the radius and make sure that it's set to 20 okay make sure that it's set to 20 all right then these just make sure that when the star spawns it spawns with the same settings that we have um, for this uh, star the first star okay um, so that's the little bits of housekeeping that we needed to do next up um, when we destroy the node all right we also need to make sure that we we spawn a new one. So from the game scene, we need to call spawn new star. So we'll call, we'll say this dot node dot parent dot dot get component. Because we, um, the, the main aim is when, when a star gets destroyed, another star has to replace it. Um, we, it shouldn't remain uh, blank. I don't know if you guys get the point, right? So if that happens, we'll do that. We'll get the game script and then run the function spawn new star. So when this happens, then what will be happening is, um, let's run it. When a star gets destroyed, another one will be spawned. All right. So you see that. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. So I can see that um, the, um, the, the, the star maybe is coming down a little too low. So two ways of fixing it could be increasing the height from where it's going to spawn from or increasing the size of the circle collider um, so that the star um, is more likely to meet um, with the player. So where will we be um, when spawning the star? We can say it should have a radius of 30 instead.
just so that it's larger so that even if it's, it comes down here we can still uh, uh, come into contact with it because the circles can still meet so that's the whole idea um, we'll try this but yeah okay so there we go